Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit. And today I'm excited to share with you a very powerful and a useful case study in Salesforce Lightning Web Component, which involves communication between uh, LWC and Aura components. So in Salesforce, integrating LWC components with existing Aura components often requires seamless communication between the two frameworks. And one of the most effective way to do is by using LMS service, Lightning Messaging Service, which allows LWC and Aura components to communicate with each other, even if they are not in a direct parent-child relationship. So in my previous use case, we I demonstrated that how to establish a communication between two components, but the relationship between those two components was a parent-child relationship. Uh, the, those were act as a parent and child components. But here in this in this in this, uh, in this case study, there is no direct relationship between the two components. So we'll be going to have a look that how do we establish a communication between two independent components in sales. So before we move ahead, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Salesforce tips and tutorials. So let me give you uh, let me give you uh, give you a walkthrough from my previous uh, previous example what I have done, which I have already uh, configured for you for your demonstration purpose. Uh, let me open that for you. Let me switch there. So as you can see, this is my Salesforce org. And uh, here I have created one Lightning Web component. So this uh, is a Lightning Web component. And this will be my Aura, Aura component, Aura listing. So whenever I send a message, so I just write here, hello from LWC and click on send. So this message will reflect here on Aura component. Uh, and if I send a message from Aura. So I say hello from Aura and publish. So we have to subscribe to the channel. And when we publish, you can see hello from Aura. So like this way, we can send a message between, or we can establish a communication between LWC and Aura components. And for this, we will be using Lightning Messaging Service. So let's have a look. How do we configure this? How do we do this? So the very first step is we need to set up a lightning messaging channel. So let me show you how do we set up a lightning messaging channel. Also in lightning message channel, what we need to do is, first of all, we need to create a new folder in our uh, in our directory. So as you can see here in force app main default, I've created a folder called message channel. So you can simply right click on this and create a new folder name as message channels. And in this message channel, I create a new file by clicking on new file. And the file name, I just said the file name is sfdc message dot message channel dash meta dot XML. So this will be an XML file. And let me show you the content of this file, what I have defined, in, what I have mentioned in this file. So in this file, because it's an XML file, so we have to always start with the XML declaration. Whenever we create an XML, whenever we create this message channel file, this will be a blank one. So we, we have to start with a uh, declaration of XML. Then lightning message channel, XML NS soap.salesforce.com slash 2006 slash 04 slash metadata. I just give a description and set this exposed to true. The reason of exposing this to true so that this message channel will be available for the components. This will be available for uh, all the components, whether it's a lightning component or it's a lightning web component or aura components and even uh, it can be exposed to the visual force pages also. Then I create a field. Uh, I don't need this actually, so I can get rid of this. Then I create a field here called lightning message field. And in this message field, I just give a description and a field name. The reason of uh, declaring this lightning message field is this is the field which will be available or which will be used by uh, all the components for uh, publishing a message or for reading a message. So we have lightning message field and in this lightning message field, there's a field called field name called message text. So you can give any name. I give the name as message text. So this is the message channel. 
Now the very first is I'm going to set a lightning web component. So therefore I, I create a lightning web component and the component name is LMS component one. And this is my HTML. So in this HTML, so as you can see in this lightning uh, web component, we have one input field, a button, a message to display and a button for to subscribe to the channel. In lightning message channel, if you want to read the message from a message channel, we have to subscribe to this. And if you want to publish any message, if you want to uh, store a message into a message field in Lightning message channel, we need to publish it. So we need two type. We need two permission levels: publish and subscribe. Publish if you want to add. If you want to, uh, if you want to add a new value into the field, and subscribe if you want to read the value from. The field. So in this case, I create a in this Lightning web component. The first is this is a Lightning input field. This is to get an input from the user. So label we set value and there's an event call on change. So I declare value as message to send and on change, change handler. And a button, button click and uh, lab, uh, button label, la uh, button, uh, lightning button, label is equal to send and on, on click is equals to button. Handle. So let me show you the JavaScript. And in JavaScript, I declare wire form, I declare wire decorator. And as I've told you that, this lightning web component will be going to act both as a publisher and a subscriber. Publish is to post a message, subscribe if you want, uh, whenever this LWC component read the message. So therefore, you can see I have import publish and subscribe both the modules, both the functions from the lightning message service. So publish and subscribe and message context, they belong to the message service. So I have declared both of them. Then I need to import the message channel because we need to uh, we need to communicate with the message channel. We are not establishing we are not establishing any communication between the two components. We'll be doing it through message channel. So therefore, I declare a I just import a message channel, and the message channel name is SFDC message. And I just add underscore underscore C as a suffix. The reason is that we will be uh, this is a custom message channel, so I suffix with underscore underscore. Then receive message and message to send. These are the two properties are declared. At the rate wire, wire context, message context. The purpose of this message context is to uh, initialize this message context function. And this message context, context for the lightning and not a conference property, pass that context value the first parameter of the subscriber and publish function. So this message context is very much required in order to send the message or in order to read the message we require. This. So therefore, I just uh, I just uh, trigger this by using a wire decorator, wire adapter, and this will be the wire adapter name as message context. On chain handler, this is the chain handler. When we change a whenever we add a value into the input field, that the updated value, updated text we want to store into message to send, and that's what we are doing here. And then I subscribe to the subscribe handler. Subscribe handle is a button, as you can see. This is a button, subscribe to channel. Variant is equal to brand and on click is equal to subscribe because we want to read the message for subscribe. But the first is we want to publish a message. So for publish, uh, for publishing, I'm using uh, like button handler because as you can see, we have a button to send button handler and button handler. I declare a custom, uh, I declare a property here, very, uh, property payload. And in this payload, we just message text. This message text is a field exists in our message channel from the message channel. And we store the value of this message to send property into this message text and finally we publish it. And while publishing this, we require message context, SFDC message. This is our channel name, which we have imported here and the message we want to add payload. This is while publishing. And while reading a message, okay, this is while we are posting a message and when we want to read the message. So that's why we have a button. First of all, you can see we have an, there's a text called message from message channel, receive message. And button and until and unless we do not click on a button, okay, uh, it's not going to subscribe to the channel and it's not ready to read the message. So once we click on a button, then it will be ready to read the message from the message channel. So sub, uh, subscribe handle on subscribe handle, we say this dot subscription is equal to subscribe message context, mes SFDC message and message is equal to this dot handle. So this handle dot handle message is a custom function. And in this custom function, we specify the we we get the value from the message text 
from the message channel uh, see and store into the receive message and this receive message will be displayed here so this is our lightning web component and in this lightning web component will be sending and receiving a message now how uh, how do we create a aura component because uh, the communication is between lwc and aura so it's time to set up an aura component so let's check it out so where is my aura component i have declared an aura component here as you can see and the aura component is lms aura component and this is my component this is the cmp and this is javascript so let's see this both of them one by one so lwc component and in this component i declare one attribute aura colon attribute you know that in aura components we declare attributes to declare uh, like a, uh, so attributes are similar to the properties the only difference is in lwc we used to declare properties on javascript whereas in aura component we used to declare properties on or attributes on html on cmp part so i declare one attribute here which is we going uh, this is going to receive the message and one more attribute i declare when we want to send the message from aura to lwc so i declare two attributes here both of them will be string that, uh, and you can see this is the way we add a reference to our message channel so lightning message channel type is equal to sfdc message this is our message channel name aura id is equal to sfdc message and on message handle receive message this is the custom function in which we need to declare in aura component javascript scope will be application and uh, in lightning card receive message so whenever a message will be received that will be displayed here and if you want to get an input from the user and pass the message to publish the message so we have a separate function called handle publish so basically in uh, aura component javascript we need to declare two methods one to receive the message one to publish the message so let's see both the functions one by one so first of all receive message in receive message I just write here constant message is equal to event dot get parameter message text. Again, this message text is the field. Uh, this is the this is the field name in our uh, Lightning message channel. And this, uh, when we say const event dot get parameter, whoever call this handle receive message, this handle receive message will be called by this message channel, Lightning message channel. So it will automatically connect. To the, it will automatically refer to this message channel. And from this message channel, there's a field message text. And whatever is the value, it will receive the message from there and store into receive message. So whatever the message stored into this, that we assign to receive message. And receive message is an attribute here, which is used to display the message which we receive from the uh, message channel. And in same manner, at the other hand, when we click on, when we enter the value, uh, when we enter the message in input field in, on aura component and click on this publish button, so then we want to publish the message to post the message. So therefore, for that, this is the handle publish. And in this handle publish, first of all, we retrieve the message, sending message. This message is a it's a fee, it's a property. You can say it's a variable in JavaScript. And it is going to store the message we used to add in, uh, which is used to add in the attribute. And then the same way we did in uh, LWC constant payload is equal to message text colon sending message and component of find SABC message and we use a publish method as a payload. So this is the way we can send and receive the message on Aura component from uh, Lightning message channel from LMS. And that's the way how do we read and write the message or publish and receive the message on Lightning message channel from LWC component. So let's see. One more time, the practical of this. And uh, when we send, so you can see hello from LWC. And when we say hello from Aura, so that message appears here. The same message appears here. Reason being, we have used the same message field. So we can do we can do like this. We can declare two fields. One field is to send the message from LWC to Aura. And another field is to send the message from Aura to LWC. So we can declare individual fields on Lightning message channel. But in our case, we have declared only one field. So like this way, uh, we can establish a communication between LWC and Aura. Not only this, but if we can establish a communication between Aura, uh, between two, L two different LWC components also. So when we subscribe and see, so if we want, we can, uh, like as you can see, we have two LWC components. So we can establish a communication between two LWC components also by using Lightning message channel 
so that's all in this uh, you, uh, in this case study and in this case study we have provide a clear and efficient way to manage the uh, the communication and the interaction between two different or two independent components in salesforce so that's all in this video keep watching have a nice day bye